Do you ever wonder if you could create or destroy energy at will? Well, that's a thought to ponder. Every action we perform, every device we utilize abides by a fundamental principle, energy conservation. It's a concept that's as universal as the stars in the night sky. From the turning of the wheels on your bike to the boiling of water in your kettle, energy conservation is at play. Now, you might ask, what does this principle mean exactly? Simply put, it's the idea that energy cannot be created or destroyed, but only transformed from one form to another. This is where the first law of thermodynamics steps into the spotlight. It's the scientific explanation of this principle, the backbone of our understanding of energy and its behavior. So the next time you switch on a light, remember you're not creating energy, you're just transforming it. The first law of thermodynamics might sound intimidating, but it's actually pretty straightforward. This law is a fundamental rule of physics that governs how energy works in our universe. In simplest terms, it tells us that energy cannot be created or destroyed. Instead, it can only be transformed from one form into another. Let's take a moment to picture this. Imagine you're in a car. That car is powered by an engine which runs on gasoline. The gasoline is stored chemical energy. When your car engine burns the gasoline, it doesn't just vanish into thin air. Instead, this chemical energy is transformed. It becomes mechanical energy that moves your car, and also heat energy, which is released into the environment. This transformation of energy is a perfect example of the first law of thermodynamics in action. The total amount of energy involved doesn't change. It just shifts from one form, chemical energy, to another, mechanical and heat energy. Now let's consider another common example. A light bulb. When you flick the switch to turn on a light bulb, electrical energy travels from the power grid into the bulb. Once inside, the bulb doesn't consume this electrical energy, instead, it transforms it into light and heat. Once again, the total amount of energy remains the same, it's just changed forms. These examples highlight the crux of the first law of thermodynamics. Energy is always conserved, it's like a global currency that can be exchanged but never lost or gained. It can shift from potential to kinetic, from chemical to mechanical, from electrical to thermal, and so on. But the total quantity of energy in the universe remains constant. So the first law of thermodynamics essentially tells us that energy is in a constant state of transformation. It's a fascinating principle that underscores the fluidity and interconnectedness of the world around us. It's a reminder that in the grand scheme of things, nothing is ever truly lost or created anew. Instead, everything is simply transformed. Now let's summarize the main points about the first law of thermodynamics. First off, the first law of thermodynamics is all about energy conservation. It's the law that states in no uncertain terms that energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only be transferred or changed from one form to another. This is a fundamental principle that applies universally from the smallest atomic particles to the largest celestial bodies. Think about a bouncing ball. When it's at its highest point, it has potential energy. As it falls, this potential energy transforms into kinetic energy, the energy of motion. When the ball hits the ground, some of this energy is transformed again into sound and heat. But the total amount of energy? It stays the same. Moving on, the first law of thermodynamics also deals with energy transformation. This is the process where energy changes from one type to another, just like in our bouncing ball example. This happens all around us, all the time. Consider a light bulb. Electrical energy is transformed into light and heat energy. Or think about a car engine, where chemical energy from the fuel is transformed into mechanical energy to make the car move. Finally, the first law of thermodynamics underscores the impossibility of creating or destroying energy. This might seem counterintuitive, especially when we see things like a matchstick burning down or a battery running out of juice. But remember, the energy isn't gone. It has simply been transformed. The chemical energy in the matchstick or the battery has been converted into heat, light, and electrical energy respectively. So, while forms of energy may change, the total amount of energy in a closed system remains constant. This is the essence of the first law of thermodynamics. It's a principle that underscores the very fabric of our universe, shaping everything from the flickering of stars to the rhythm of your beating heart. In a nutshell, the first law of thermodynamics is the law of energy conservation, a principle that governs every aspect of our universe.